Uh, next on stage, we have the Dow CEO, Jim Fiddling. During his 35-year career year, 35 year career at Dow, Jim has held many business unit and leadership positions. Prior to being named CEO, Mr. Fiddling was President and Chief Operating Officer of Dow and Chief Operating Officer for the Material Science Division of Dow DuPont. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Fiddling on stage. Thank you, Scott, for the introduction, and on behalf of all my colleagues at Dow, I just want to welcome you uh, here, and thank you for being here with, uh, with us on this exciting day. You know, um, we're here in one way to celebrate the ribbon cutting of the new plant, and Scott, it's a nice baby. You've got a nice baby. It is the first petrochemical investment with Middle East-based ownership in the U.S. Gulf Coast, and it was made possible because of the great moves with shale gas and uh, making us more competitive. So to my counterpart, Hashim, CEO of Kuwait Petrochemical, to Sheikh Mubarak Al Sabah, and to all of our partners with Kuwait background, welcome to Texas, welcome to Brazoria County, and as we say, we're glad to have you all here. You've got a fantastic safety record, as, um, as Matt mentioned. More than three million consecutive safe work hours and a performance equaling the best in the region. Construction duration will be a historic best for the U.S. Gulf Coast on this project. 21 months compared to an industry average of 29 months. That's significant. But what we're really here to celebrate are all the partnerships that made this all possible and made this plan a reality. And there's no way to under overstate how critical each of those partnerships have been and will continue to be for our operations here. It's a very diverse group of companies and individuals. Our partners in the Equate Group joint venture, Petrochemicals Industry of Kuwait, Bubion Petrochemicals, and Karain Petrochemicals Industries. The longtime friendship with Kuwait-based companies has enabled us to come full circle with the investment in Texas today and from the projects that we started almost now seven years ago, this is the last piece of the puzzle to come into place to complete those investments. ME Global was the initial joint venture between Dow and PIC, and it was conceived and kicked off almost 24 years ago, and it's become very successful in its own right. To our partners Fleur and Worley on this project, you not only did it faster, but you did it safer than anyone hoped would be possible. And to the project team, Clarence Stadelweiser, Cam Creel, Ryan Hansen, and Scott Daigle, thank you for keeping the project moving. Jos Devet, are you here? Jos uh, was our construction manager, and those of you who know Jos know he's a force of nature. And he's also a miraculous guy because his recovery from a terrible motorcycle accident not too long ago and having him back here at work is amazing. Jos, God's got another project for you. And if he doesn't, I'll talk to Peter and Ron and we'll see if we can work out, okay? And Ramesh, your leadership on the project was outstanding. Uh, to be honest, we expected that, but that doesn't mean we can't say thank you for doing it. Everybody here was critical to getting this project over the goal line, but nothing happens like this without the support of a lot of local, regional, and state partners who worked with us on everything from raw material planning and permits to making sure we had a fantastic workforce. Secretary of State Baker, the fact that you take your time to come here and your leadership in bringing the United States and Kuwait together in a time of great need is an honor for all of us. Uh, because of the heroic effort you made to liberate Kuwait, both our countries are now benefiting in many ways. Speaker Bonin, likewise, I want to thank you for all that you've done. Your leadership in making Texas a great place to do business is always appreciated, of course, but I'd like to particularly thank you for your focus on school finance reform. As you know, we're in a war on talent, so everything you do to enhance the development of an educated workforce is really a tremendous help to us. I also want to point out the continuing support we get 
from County Judge Matt Sebesta, the Brazoria County Commission's Court, all of our taxing authorities, and each of the elected officials here tonight. There's a reason why Dow has the largest chemical manufacturing site in the Western Hemisphere right here in Brazoria County, and there's a reason we've been here since 1940, and there's a reason we feel so welcome, and it's because collectively and individually, our elected officials here know how to get things done. Our partners here from Kuwait understand now when I say that the folks in Brazoria County give you the red carpet, not the red tape. Anytime a company plays away and makes an investment outside their home turf, they take a risk. But when you factor in the support of Brazoria County, the state of Texas, the U.S. government, plus Dow, you mitigate that risk by giving your partners strong allies. And together, we've delivered growth for all the stakeholders in this project, and together, we share in its success. Thanks to everyone here for your part in making this day a reality. We're thrilled that you're here to share this wonderful day with us as we celebrate growth, partnership, and a very bright future together for all of us. Thank you.